Hey, what's up guys? Okay, new day. Uh, kind of getting a late start today again, and I hate that, but uh, kind of getting a late start again, but I, and I hate that. I hate that I'm getting a late start today, but uh, pressing issues happened this morning. I mean, it was a mess. Uh, we were out of coffee creamer and uh, bacon. So we had to run to town and get a little uh, coffee creamer and bacon. We ended up with some steaks and some other stuff too. So that was kind of nice. Uh, so you see him standing here and I'm looking at this beauty. You see him standing here and uh, I'm looking at this beauty right here and I'm thinking about uh, what's going to go on today. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in there with the scraper and uh, scrape down all that loose non-loose grease get all that scraped off best i can um and then i'm going to get out here with some simple green and i'm going to soak it down real good this whole part of the truck is going to get soaked down with simple green and get it all clean no grease and uh up under the cab both sides around the radiator area and uh get this thing ready for motor set in um there's a good chance that i may set the 8v92 in here this week um you know maybe even as fast as tomorrow we'll see how it goes uh i need to make i'm going to make a template and then i'll bring the template over here and uh bang out some mounting holes it looks like um it looks like it's not going to be any big deal we'll relocate this device whatever that is and uh that side over there actually looks like it's going to be fine. It looks like the uh, the motor mount goes directly above the spring perch on the other frame. So we'll, we'll plan on it being here. We'll get that front mount out. We'll make a measurement. And we'll knock those bolts in and uh, bring the motor over. Set it on there. Make sure it's good. Uh, finish knocking the other bolts in. Get it tightened down. Get that motor in here and bolt it up. Now... That motor needs a paint job. I'm not going to paint it. Um, I plan on not painting it. I don't want to paint it, but we'll see how it goes. This is not going to be a show truck. Um, I'm not going to fancy this one up. I'm going to, I'm going to wash it. I'm going to find the pieces that are missing out of the, out of the cab. And, uh, put this truck to work somewhere this is a working truck not a show truck so I'm not gonna paint the engine I'm not going to paint the engine all right so let's get us get us situated down inside these frame rails uh, without without spraining that ankle and uh, let's give her a look Get a cardboard box down here and uh, the best thing to do uh, is to scrape is to scrape as much off as you can uh, and just put it into the box you know the uh, the idea is you want to get it you want to give the simple green or the you know the uh, purple power or whatever you're going to use give it its best chance uh, for success and uh, this starts with a little bit of elbow grease now this engine this engine had a, a ton of oil leaks uh, this truck's probably got a million miles on it you know an honest million all right so uh yeah there you see it it's uh a lot and that's uh that's basically the inside and one wheel is still got to do the front and the other wheel but i just wanted you to get an eyeball of it you know here's the thing about that guys you know when you grease your truck and you know you can, there's going to be some disagreements here but when you grease your truck you pump grease in until it expels which means pushes out the dirty grease and you can see when you're greasing, come out and be black. And sometimes you use black grease, so you have to, you know, use your best judgment. So you'll expel a percentage of the grease, and you'll see that it starts having the new grease. 
and you take your hand with your rubber glove on and you grab the grease off and you put it in a box. Now, it's okay to wipe that extra grease off. You don't have to leave it all built up in the drive shaft so when you start driving it flings it all over the truck. It's okay when you grease kingpins to get back in there with a little popsicle stick and scrape the grease out from under there. Maybe take a little brake cleaner and wipe it down. It's okay to do that. When this stuff piles up in between the, the spindle and the wheel or, you know, in between the uh, spring shackle and the bushing or, uh, you know, all over your fuel tank, fuel tanks or whatever all over the back of your cab now all that is is destroying your truck so you know take a rag wipe that shit off it's not illegal you can do it getting keyed up for putting the motor in it until I get parts for candy I'm kind of stuck I'm gonna wash this up and see about putting the motor setting the motor in it and then I'm gonna if I got time left after working on the car I'm gonna try and do the uh, engine brake on Trisha that's gonna be a big job and I'm scared to do it thanks Jeeves muchas gracias senorita mineral spirits diesel fuel <laughs> it's even worse Went down my throat. It goes down my throat all the time. Oh, that was gross. Are you washing the underneath? Yes. So I need to move it again. Um, ow. How's my face, but? Oh, God. What? Half of it's black? No. <laughs> Don't be like that. Which half? The other half. Which half? This half. Yep. They get it? I mean, got it better. It's good? It's gray now instead of black. All right, that's important. <laughs> well, guys, uh, you know, it ain't easy being pretty. You'd think a guy could just spend his day, you know, working on the planned job, and, but no, instead he gets to work on the pressure washer. Let me just tell you something. This right here is self-inflicted. I broke this, uh, I broke this rope last year, and I just did a quickie rewind with the uh, with what string was left on here and uh, said to myself hey I'll just get some more I'll just get by today and I'll get some more rope and I'll do it right you know so it doesn't happen to me again and then uh, you know here we are <laughs> I don't have any rope it's Sunday This is not enough rope to start it, probably. Uh, let me see if I can find some. Alright guys. I found some rope my dad had. This is not going to start it more than maybe a couple times. But, uh, you know, I just needed to start once today. And I promise I'm going to uh, order some pull rope. I promise. This time I'm serious. The last time I must not have been serious. This time I am. So. I made sure to wind it extra tight. So it recoils it up nice. Alright. Okay. That's on. Gas is on, choke's on. Usually once it does it, you take the choke off.
Well, crap. Crap bag. Let's see what we got. All right. So I, you know, I got distracted. You guys see that squirrel? Anyways, I made a big old mess on the on the concrete up here. So I started pushing it down into the gravel, and uh, then one thing led to another. But anyways. Uh, so the black is painted over the blue, and so... Hey, what's up guys? Well, the camera overheated, it shut off. I thought maybe by Hero 10 they'd have that thing figured out, but apparently not. So uh, I ran it out of diesel fuel, and then I ran it out of gasoline, so I'm doing hot water washing today. Uh, Man, I got grease in my hair like you wouldn't even imagine. But anyways, I'm kind of dirty. Uh, but I got a good portion of that thing degreased. And uh, and it's good enough for me. Uh, so you see the inner frame rails pretty clean. Uh, most of the grease is off the wiring and the and the hoses most of the grease is off of the springs and the cross member most of the grease is off of all of that those look pretty clean I mean you couldn't even get a, a screwdriver between there earlier today and so that's nice for the for the most part most of the grease is off some of the stuff's pretty hard even for that steam cleaner but uh you did a nice job i'm i'm pretty happy with it as far as it goes again this isn't going to be a show truck um you know this is going to be a good working truck i could have done better on that aluminum cross member but that's coming out uh i've got the one for the uh uh for the detroit that'll be bolting in in its place and uh yeah so there you have it that's it in a nutshell clean all let me show you these inside of the front wheels those were pretty covered up with uh grease and oil those are the wheels i took off of uh trisha to test crystal's front tires to see if that little hop in the front end at 65 came from these new uh tires or not and it, it didn't it didn't change anything at all so uh, I decided I was going to take this mount out and uh, I'm going to cut off some of these uh, zip ties and let them wires and them hoses and stuff droop down. And I'm going to take this mount off and I'm going to get the, uh, the mount for the Detroit. I think I'm going to have to move the Detroit mount back to the second set of holes. It looks like there's a set of holes right here. Uh, and I think I'll need the Detroit back there. Um, but I need to see how high the mount sits. So I need this one out of the way. There's just no way around it. I'm going to pop these off and uh, get that thing moved. have eight inches so it's for sure going to get moved back there so what we'll do is we'll get that bolt out then i'll get the spacers that i need off of the other uh off of the other frame we'll get this front mount set in uh, i'm pretty sure pretty sure i'm pretty sure that it goes this way. Yep, I'm pretty sure it goes that way. Um, and I mean, it won't matter because we're just going to set the, we're going to set it in, bolt it up, and set the motor in it. And if uh, if it needs to 
get flipped around it's not that big of a deal It'll take me two minutes to move it so uh so yeah let's go ahead and get that bottom bolt out I almost, almost used this front mount on the Belvedere. But man, I would have been seriously bummed out if I would have used that mount and then got this truck. Um, so it's super cool that it didn't. Let's see, what do you think? Let's use the long one. Glad that I saved this thing. All right, so that bolt's not going to be long enough, but it's long enough to uh, get started. We've got these super long ones if we need them. So those are a little bit long. We might have to pry those frame rails apart uh, to get them in. And you think, well, why would you do that? Well, because I just think that's how it works. So we'll put a jack across here and we'll spread it out slightly and pop those in and then let the frame squeeze back down on it. This is a structural cross member. Uh, the only one it has right now is down here, so the frame rails could be kicking in just from the weight of the truck. So, uh, you know, it could be 100% full of shit too, you just never know. what I got to do. I got to take this, this uh, rear mount and I have to move it forward and it's going to go forward about and this is hard for me. This is the part that I'm not good at. Um, I'm not good at measuring and getting stuff to, to cooperate. It looks like it's got to go forward about 13 and a quarter inches. Uh, roughly 13 and a quarter inches forward on there and it went moved back about three inches there I just don't 
feel like that's uh, like that's right. Um, I just don't know. Seems like the eight cylinders is uh, about two cylinders short. So if you were to take two cylinders on one of those uh, straight six jobbies, it'd probably be likely 16 inches longer. So, uh, yeah, it's probably about right. So uh, the hard part is to go from the center of this bolt hole up there. Let me see if I can't uh, bring you over here. Give you a little. Give you a little. Oh, that's way too much. That's way too much. All right, I don't know. I don't know what you can see. We got to measure from the center of this bolt hole, uh, 32 and something back this way. Looks like 32 and a and a quarter or something. 32 and three quarters maybe. Yeah, 32 and three quarters. And that's where this hole's got to be. And then you see this plate's not square. It's downhill, so it's got to be. You know, it's got to be right. So what I was thinking about doing is taking some round bar and. Uh, making it so welding it to that plate one there one there and then just sliding it down uh, until I had that hole where it was needed to be and then and then drill it I'm also thought about doing it from the inside you know like like that and then slide it down marking the hole and drilling it then I thought well maybe I'll maybe just measure down from this because it's on an angle you know and so this one will be down like uh, two and two and three quarters and then this one would be down uh, three inches and then just mark the 30 30 30 uh, 32 and three quarters and then and try and drill that but man you know how many opportunities I have to fail at getting those things right um, yeah so I don't know so that's what I've been doing for the last hours just looking at this and trying to decide exactly how I'm going to do it um, yeah man just don't know now I could grab the motor and I could stick it in on the front mount and then put the rear mount in and then jack it up and then like scribe all around it and then take the motor out and even but you know that's not ever going to work either um so i don't know i just don't 100 percent know what i'm going to do uh with it i may uh, i may just take i may take this plate and i may put it in here and uh clamp it with a vice grip and then, you know, do my measurements. It's gonna be somewhere in this neighborhood. It's gonna be somewhere like this. Uh, but man, it's gonna have to be exactly how that one is on exactly the right place. There's nothing you wanna try and do without a jig, I think. Um, but that's what I've been working on. And uh, it's almost dark out. So I'm going to clean up my mess and go in the house and then come back out here with uh, fresh coffee in me tomorrow and see about making her go. <laughs> What's the chances of that? I mean, it's got to be slim to none, right? Holy schmoly. Let's answer some questions. Some questions have come up uh, about my feet and my shoes, my choice of shoes. And uh, <clears throat> so let's uh, let's clear some of that up. Look how messy I am. Looks like I have a full beard. Uh, so I have something wrong with my right foot. And uh, and uh, to be honest with you, I can't wear regular shoes. I have to wear them at work and 
after two weeks of having regular shoes on at work, I can barely walk when I get off. So uh, that's why most of the time in the shop, I'm wearing uh, uh, flip-flops of sorts. Um, not really sure what they're going to do about it, but we're working on it. Um, been getting cortisone shots. Helps a little bit. This time didn't help at all. Tomorrow I'm going to clean off my tool cart because I've been just piling my tools up and I have a tool cart. So when I have a job that's in process, I can just leave the, put the tools back on the cart, roll it in the shop, be done for the day, come out, roll the tools out and be going. Uh, so I'm going to take care of that in the morning. And right now I'm going to go get a shower because I'm nasty. Talk to you later.